In Northeast Portland, a homeless camp is scheduled for removal after a series of risk assessments done by the city. A number of parked RVs and other vehicles have caused some unease among neighbors and business owners. Fox 12's Carly Olson has been talking to community members today to find out more. Carly, what are you learning? Well, Anna, I'm standing here in front of Northeast Russell Street where neighbors and nearby business owners tell me that the RVs and vehicles started to appear just a couple of months ago. And they say since that time, they've reached out to anyone they can for a solution, but it's been difficult to get a response. Those living near Northeast Russell Street say it started just after the start of the new year. There's no parking signs on Russell, and people are parking here. A neighbor who didn't want to appear on camera tells us it's grown especially worse over the past few weeks. I noticed that uh, people are leaving their garbage along the side of the road, and the city's picking up the garbage. The city's doing that, but they're not enforcing the no parking sign. The city of Portland tells us they've conducted four separate risk assessments at the location, which sits right across the street from McDaniel High School. Recently, the risk score has come back high enough to warrant a removal. They plan to alert campers about it in mid-April and tow the remaining vehicles a week later. I spoke to multiple campers who didn't want to appear on camera, but told me if they're forced to leave, they will simply move to another street. You know, it started with just kind of one, and then it just kind of slowly builds. Dave Schrott is part owner of the People's Courts, a pickleball center which sits right up the hill from the parked vehicles. There's a lot of dealing with the uh, immediate amount of uh, trash and human waste issues. Once in a while, we'll be dealing with vehicles that actually are parked on our premises. He and other neighboring businesses have called the city multiple times to complain, and Schrott says he's thrilled to hear they're finally taking action. But he believes it should have happened sooner. We know it's a challenging situation for all, but it has been, you know, incredibly frustrating, uh, you know, how long uh, this has been going on and the lack of answers, frankly, you know, again, for both the neighbors, for the business community, and for the people experiencing the homeless situation. It's been very frustrating. Other neighbors say they do want the best for the people living on the road, but it's time for a change. I'm kind of mixed emotions about it. I don't want to see, you know, people being displaced, but there are no parking signs. You know, that's the law, so the city should enforce that. The city tells us that the Portland Bureau, Bureau excuse me, of Transportation will begin to tag the vehicles for removal starting the week of April 15th, and they'll start to actually tow the vehicles the following week of April 22nd. Reporting live in Northeast Portland, Carly Olson, Fox 12 Oregon.